啦。Hello, pips, and welcome back to Two Point Hospital. Welcome back to A Stitch in Time, where we are working on the third star of the final hospital of the DLC. You can see here. Let me get rid of all the stuff on the screen. You can see here the the hospital that we currently have, um, and we've got a few cues, but there's nothing too crazy going on here. Um, nothing urgently that needs dealing with. It's it's fairly all right. Um, so what have we got here to do for star three? Uh, send back and cure 75 lost in time patients. So that one is just uh, give it time. That will that will happen. We've got two um, yesterizers uh, in the works. We need to train three assistants in yesterization three. So I do have two assistants and they are both trained, I think. Oh no, this one isn't. I've got another one. Um, but it hasn't counted, so I'm probably going to have to fire my assistants and train them all up again. <laughs> uh, bit annoying. Um, here, look, Hannah's pretty good. Um, so we're going to employ Hannah, and I'll tell you what, Ursula here is pretty good as well. So we're going to get Ursula. Now let's have a look. Who do we have on staff here? Um, righty ho, because we do have, I think, two reception desks. Here they are. Um... Now, we are probably, yeah, see, look, going to fire Ned. So we're going to fire you, Ned, and replace you with Ursula, I think, because they seem to be better at this whole business. Um, we are going to put Hannah straight into yesterization training. Um, and you know what? Benji here can do the training um so we'll slowly start sorting that out um cure rate of 80 percent now let's just check what my policy is at 80 percent right do you know what i'm probably just going to pump that up a little bit to make sure that we are diagnosing them a bit more accurately and we need to have a look at what's going on with this diagnostic room um to be honest i think maybe the best way of dealing with this queue because it seems like we've got an awful lot of people queuing for this one room and not, not the others. And we've got diagnostic rooms over here as well. So our GPs, how well trained are they? Are they sending patients to the right place? So, do you know what? We could improve our GPs. But it's not too bad. Not too bad. Um, we could send you away. Um, who else have we got? Let's move you up the queue and you. What are you at? 67%. Not the best, but we're going to send you for treatment all the same. Uh, we'll send you for treatment. Um, not you two though. No. Okay. Okay. So that's, uh, ooh, glass dome. A condition characterized by bristleness of the head caused by extended exposure to UV radiation. Though the problem is magnified by a lack of cloud cover and convex glass surfaces on sunny days. Fracture ward. Sounds good. Uh, not the illness, the fact that it's simple to <laughs> treat. Um, and then we need to entertain 999 patients. Um, and we can see that that's ticking up on its own uh, perfectly well uh, around the hospital we have lots of these virtual reality machines um, so that's that's how they're getting entertained and I did because uh, the money was pretty good I've placed a whole bunch of them uh, down all over the place because it's quite expensive I think like four and a half thousand doubloons it's a little bit nuts but you know I don't know it feels like this is what the hospital should be having for entertainment it just sort of fits right so there we are it's it's happened that's what we have uh what is this artificial intelligence um yeah now this was actually getting quite busy so i didn't take the emergency because the queue is a little a little crazy so it could be that it might be worth us getting um another psychiatrist in you know what maybe maybe we could fit a psychiatrist in there because I, I was sort of thinking you know how do we how do we where do we put a psychiatrist no it's in the way of the door typically we've got if it was on the reverse side that would be fine 
but of course it's not. Uh, what if, what if we edit this room and move this door along? Lovely. And then, now we're going to need to find another psychiatrist because I believe I only have the one. So let's pop that in there. Um, just pause it a second. I'm going to close that. I don't want them to start queuing up for it. Okay. Um, let's pop that there. Now, what is the temperature like here? It's not the best, but it's okay. Um, yeah. Assistant required in speed dating. In speed dating. Let's copy that item. Shove it over there. That'll do me. Lovely. Um, probably could get a couple more bennies out and about. Probably wouldn't go miss. There we go. Um, and probably could do with some entertainment over here. Um, let's see. Let's see. What am I looking for? Entertainment. 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 There it is. Um, I forget what it's called fabrication i know that it has got a bit of a bizarre name so there we go let's pop that in uh there's no toilets here that they'll just have to live with um i've been sticking to the cheesy gubbins <laughs> rather than going to um the vending machine that will uh give them anything you know the now oh, I forget the word for it. <laughs> uh, and again, it's not listed here, so I, I feel like the new items haven't really been integrated into this item system at all. Let's check out the assistant situation. Oh, we need a... Actually, let's just have a quick look at the doctors. Okay, Philip. Charming and positive. Hey, sounds like the perfect type of uh, geezer <laughs> to be psychiatrist let's get you trained philip um let's see here we need to do that good great okay got a floating sign here nothing exciting on there nothing nothing exciting um yeah because uh, this guy is getting a little overwhelmed <laughs> a little overwhelmed uh yeah so back to the assistant thing um, so this is this, the other assistant working. I suppose, I suppose they're all right, but oh, look. Better, better, better. Fire. Good. <laughs> Bit of a clear up on the old assistants. Um, so we're going to fire this person. So we do have two, look, at level three. If I was to train them, this uh, Petra, in level four, I wonder if that would register as one. Probably not, but let's give it a go. <laughs> um, let's give it a try. Um, but otherwise, we could also, if we do have to start them from scratch, we're going to need two, and you know what? These two might be it. Um, yeah, they might be it. We'll see how that goes. So if this doesn't work, we're going to have to fire these two and start training up. In fact, what we could do is get them trained up um, now, couldn't we? Get them trained up now in level one. Um, so we've only got one actually working the rooms at the moment. See, see how that goes. So there it is. We train them into level four. It's not registered at all. So we are now going to have to fire Horatio and Petra. It's a bit of a shame, isn't it? A bit of a shame. Um, and yeah, let these um, three start working these rooms uh, so that we can keep training them up. Now, we have our psychiatrist. Let's open this up. Let's also change it so it's treatment only. Um, but we need to get them up to level three. What we learned is that artificial intelligence is best dealt with at level three. Um, let's actually train Pedro into level four. Why not? Um, and while we're here, let's see our GPs. So let's improve this GP. 
Excellent. Um, let's send you. Uh, let's do some crazy amounts of GP training. So there's going to be no GPs on the floor. <laughs> um, there we go. Or very little of them. That's fine. We've got one more room to go. Um, and we could just stop um, diagnosis as well. Uh, why not? Let's just go mad here. So uh, do that. We also noticed they were unhappy with their money. So let's do that. Excellent. Now let's just do a couple of sweeping checks like temperature. Um, we can see here this room is cold. So uh, I do have a tendency to forget. So we're going to pop in like to do the odd track. Uh, there, that's where I like to put it. Good. Um, and this building over here looks a bit... Oh, it's only the training. It's only the training. Who cares? Who cares? Let's pop that in there. Nice. That'll do. Oh, this won't. There we go. Finally got a radiator. I bet they've been writing all sorts of letters to their bosses about that one. Um, also, attractiveness. How, how are we looking on the attractiveness? Don't need to worry about this. Again, it's just the training. I don't care. Um, these rooms are looking a bit... Ugh, there's some trash on the floor here. What an outrage. Um, what could we do? I suppose we could get out the old uh, hypnopole. Honestly, it's worth getting that retro pack just for this item. <laughs> it's the best item. <laughs> <laughs> the best item. Uh, shove a few of those around. But otherwise, it's not too bad, actually. Uh, I think I've been putting shrubberies about the place. No. There's no. Yeah, there is a shrubbery in there, isn't it? <laughs> I've been shoving the shrubs down. Wow, that shrub needs watering. Oh, that one just got watered. That's good. That needs watering. But not too bad, eh? That's all right. Okay, good, good. What about the repair situation? How are we doing? Shall we see about... Uh, we should probably do some janitor training. Um, oh, look. And we've actually got a lot of money, and there are still some upgrades to go. Should we do that? So that's, that's nice that building. Let's see. It's upgraded. Let's get that one done. What else have we got here? I think all these are done. Oh, that one. Okay. Now we need to do some more over here. So the x-ray. What about this? No, that's okay. Lovely. Um, anomaly warning. There is a time storm in this era. Oh no. Right. So these things are looking good. Excellent. But now we've got... A storm coming, which cure forty patients. I mean, we can give it a go, but I, I, I wouldn't. I, I don't know. I, I wouldn't get too overly confident with it. <laughs> Maintenance announcement: Plants need water. Plants need water. They do, but they were also getting watered. Okay, that's. Wow, that's not First looking assist. good. Already got somebody coming to that. Okay. Good. So class has been dismissed, which is nice. So we can carry on with the training. So how are we doing with the assistants? Oh, look, we have the chance to do some yesterization two training. Excellent. Let's get them catching up. And I think we need to get some janitors into training as well. Um, so we can see we've got some waterers here. Um, yeah, all they do is water plants. Look at that. All they do is water plants. Um, let's maybe help them move around faster. Um, I don't know who the other one was. Is it this one? Watering a shrubbery, yeah. Um, so they can get around the uh, plants faster. That would be good. That would be good. Oh yeah, something we should probably do, because we did send all the GPs away to be trained all at the same time and a bunch of diagnostic, is just help reduce the queues. Um, so they can get caught up again, 
quickly. So what we're going to do is something we don't do that much these days. Um, it's just come into here and we can see. So they're sorted to ones that are highly diagnosed. And we're just going to pop around. Uh, they're probably in the toilet. They're actually in the middle of the test. And ones that are pretty highly diagnosed, I'm just going to send straight for treatment. Get them out of these diagnostic queues. Are you still in test? Note you're out. Found out who was behind that they are... Where are we? 76% is okay for me. Oh, they're about to leave the GP office. So all I did was lock him ah, so I'm going to do that. We're having blasting some really Excellent. loud music for the right. last three hours. 74. Like Just going to keep smashing them out. 74, 70. So that's probably where I'm going to draw the line on this. They are still in the ward. Okay, there's another artificial artificial intelligence. We're just going to send them out. That's a lot for psychiatry, isn't it? It's just while we're getting another dude trained up. So that's them. Now, anybody really low on health? Yeah, uh, can you get in to the ward? You are in. What's happening here? They, they, they've all been diagnosed. Um, now, we're going to actually send some of... The surgery ones away because the I've put surgery training into effect. <laughs> um, but there we are. <clears throat> it's just just nice to help a little bit, um, help them catch up. You know, um, that's not so bad. We got somebody on break here as well. Look, but that's okay. The queues have gone down a bit, and they should be able to bish bash bosh through them. You know, bingo, bango. <laughs> uh, right, you, Randolph, can go near the bottom. What an outrage. Everyone else is sicker than you. Training rooms are empty again. I like it when they're empty because it means I can do a little more training. Um, let's see. Let's see. So, look. We could probably improve our DNA. Um, so that we can try and start bumping this up, but let's look at our treatment, you know, because our diagnostic stuff isn't too bad. Now, the DNA lot, I always train in treatment. No diagnostic training. Um, so we're going to do that. Nurses. Um, yeah, so look, we've got a treatment nurse here, but... Yeah, I don't think... Where are you working? It's on a break. Where are you working? Deluxe clinic. Let's get you in. So we're going to lose a lot of treatment staff to try and train a bunch of them up. Ooh. Ooh, we could get these two at customer service three. My favourite. Yeah, let's do that. So no one's going to be coming in through reception. So that will help. <laughs> let's do a maintenance three training as well for some of our maintenance workers lovely lovely the queues are mounting at reception oh my goodness <laughs> oh my goodness quick quick what we're going to do is not make them walk this <laughs> no oh i like this barrier this Training course completed. oh excellent <laughs> get over there get over there Get on it. <laughs> oh my god, now the queues are going to start piling up really quickly in the GPs and everything again. Because <laughs> we've, we've got a backlog. But but the point is, is to not panic about queues starting to come through here. We know we're effectively created ourselves a wave. <laughs> um, so, you know, we just need to nurse that wave through the hospital. And I don't think I need to nurse it that closely either, to be honest. The hospital's fine. The hospital's totally fine. Um, and we can see that these are progressing nicely, um, you know, but we're working on our treatment staff. Well, we're training all the staff, really. We want to get all of uh, everybody, everybody trained um, as best we can. So we're going to do some more treatment training here. So treatment level one. Um, you can't do oh, treatment level two. Right. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Join. 
so the, the more treatment training, which is fantastic. Um, we've got the surgery nurse here. Um, let's not worry about them. I think we're going to increase this nurse's diagnostic because, my goodness. Oh, actually, look, we could increase his as well. Uh, that'd be great. Now, we are ready for some Yesterization 2 training over here. So let's get that done. Beautiful. Um, and then the janitors. So I've got cleaning up the janitors here. It's <laughs> the technical term. Uh, so we're going to get them into some ghost training. Um, so that's uh, another another load of training done. And the upgrade's going quite well. So this building is done. Um, where are we over here? So this this is close to being done. Uh, we've just got the x-ray to go. There's no upgrades there to do. There's an upgrade currently happening here, which is wonderful. Otherwise, that I think that will then be done. Yep. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. Good. So there's an upgrade there to go, but it will be the last one. So, yeah, uh, upgrades are done, which is great. Like it. Like it. Pleased. Pleased. Um, and those reception queues seem to have dissipated across the GP offices fairly well. We've got a little bit of a queue here. Look, let's send them for treatment. That's it. Really, re-diagnosis should be happening at these types of offices. 66% um, is a bit low. Uh, so hang on a minute. How many diagnostic offices do we have? One, two, three, four, five. And how many diagnostic doctors do we actually have? Um, one, two, three, four, five. Not enough. Right. I would say that we would need at least one more diagnostic doctor, if not two, because you need to, to cover the breaks. So, um, diagnostic GP doctors. So that's what we're going to do. We are going to employ you. Um, and make you... Oh, there's no training rooms at the moment. We're going to make you a GP. Um, okay. And same here. Okay, we want to make you a GP as well. And then I think we've probably got all the GPs that we need. So we just need to wait for a training room to become available in fact we could probably build another one i mean why not um we've got the bleeding space for it look we could build oh my goodness we could build two more oh my god i'm gonna get greedy i've never built this many training rooms but we're doing it we're getting aggressive yo <laughs> um let's see let's ben pomp <laughs> Uh, I'd like you to be trained. I'm not laughing at your name. <laughs> I like your name. I like your name. It makes me laugh because it's fun. Um, good. And then... Do you know what? We're going to hold the... Actually, where is... Yeah, see, look, we could train up. Okay, we're going to do a bunch of training here. What? We are. We're just, we're just going to do it. Right, I just need to calm down. Let's do um, stamina training. I don't know why I'm getting so kerfuffled over this. Um, who else would be good? Oh, Garth McBoatface. <laughs> yeah, let's get them in uh, to that training as well. So... That's good. Going well. This diagnostic training is almost over. So what other nurses? Ooh, we could do we could do some more training. Although I like the idea of getting Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look. We could do ward management three training in this room, couldn't we? We've got two nurses up for it. Technically three. God, the the um the training skills is all over the place isn't it it's really um unsightly to look at <laughs> i don't like this look at this i don't like it um okay well i suppose it doesn't really matter we'll just get them in there um so yesterization is coming up um we're not going to be ready for the esterization three just yet but we're getting there look we're getting there I tell you what, Ursula could go in for customer service four. Yes. Oh my god, training around. Janters are about to pop as well. Oh, look, and the doctors. Oh god, this is this is great. We can just Oh look, Philip's ready for his 
Level two training. Get in. Get in, Philip. <laughs> what a legend. Um, so what about maintenance three over here? Can anyone join you? No. That's disgusting. I want somebody to join you. I want somebody to join you. What, well, what other janitor training could we do? Ah, okay. We can do... Actually, let's do that one. Um, do you know, we'll get a, a janitor in to, to train it. Um, and then to join... You. There we go. Excellent. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Getting close to having entertained everybody, which is lovely. Where are we with the... Oh, we're still waiting on this. Still waiting on this. But training in general is going on quite well. Uh, with all the machines upgraded, I'm probably going to fire these two. <laughs> or at least one of them. Um, probably this one. Uh, and have them continue to train in mechanics. In case the machine blows up and we just have to upgrade it again. Just have one around. I guess it's good. Um... Nurses again though are coming along really quite well. We've got the we've got some surgery training going on at the moment, so we might as well get this assistant nurse. Let's go with emotional intelligence, yes. And um we spent so much money on training. Um we're going to do this. Um there's nobody here. No, let's just do that. We've got some rooms kick kicking around, right? Lola needs Diagnostic 2 training. Um, so let's get that going. Um, excellent. And then the doctors. Yeah, we saw some Diagnostic. Ooh, let's get Barney here up to GP4. Lovely. And actually, oh, we're taking everybody off the floor. This is a problem when you have too many <laughs> training spots available. Um, yeah, let's do that. Okay. No, it's, it's, going, it's going nicely. Oh, look. Look it. Look it. This is great. Um, we are looking far. In the, is it that yesterization machine? Yeah, this yesterization machine. We had uh, a time storm in this era. <laughs> and this was looking bad before the time storm. And I kept ordering to have it repaired. Now, the problem is that to have it ordered to have it repaired but I, then I wanted to close the room so it wouldn't get used until it was fixed but then it cancels the mechanic that's coming to fix it which is really annoying I probably should have done it I should have gone through the hassle of it you're so. listening to the illuminating the illuminating As you right. know, I am can you film don't clean up the lightning spot oh a national newspaper of some renown so you can I want this repaired opinion when I say every single film you love is an artless trashy cash grab he might you not be, be able to do watching. it what's he tuned for more opinions no but, well, hang on a minute no he can he can then what is his malfunction repair it why do you want to Oh, oh God! I'm, I'm sorry, Bartholomew. I'm sorry, Bart, that we made you come all this way. Bleeding, Michael. <laughs> Get it together, Michael. Picture. <laughs> Interesting surname, Michael. Nurse Get it fixed. Well, yeah. Hello, Hannah. Hannah Rokil. Oh, look. We need to do wages. Wages have become a thing. Quick. Fixed. There we go. <laughs> Um, good. So, yeah, we, we really want to be able to train them in Yesterization 3. We've got quite a long way to go with Thomas here. Hannah is a bit closer. And yeah, so we've got a little, a little way to wait before we can do this. But that's okay, because we still need to send a whole bunch of patients back. So they've, they've got time. Hannah Roadkill is ready for her level 3 training. Yeah. We're going to get one done. One done. <laughs> Exciting times. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <gasps> this will be one. This will be one. Oh yes. Are the others ready yet? Are the others ready yet? Oh, one is. One is ready. One is ready. Let's have Hannah train them. And that means then that the one that is yet to reach... 
Uh, we'll have plenty of time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look. Plenty of time to just fill up that bit of experience. You can't go on a break. Sorry. <laughs> you have to get on with your job. <laughs> um, oh, how's this guy doing? Ah, okay. When he gets to level three, we're going to take this emergency. But he's, he's just not quite there yet. Uh, no. Ooh. Oh, look. There's only one... What if I... That, why have they disappeared? When did that happen? <laughs> okay. Uh, I pr do I have to take those? No. Okay. Oh my goodness. I don't know when that happened. But let's, let's fix it up. Uh, there. Okay, good. That's something. My goodness. That was a bit weird. Yeah. Doing one at a time is a bit of a nightmare. That's... <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Oh no. Two. Completed. Two. Look. Two. <laughs> so we just need. Just need. Oh. <gasps> ready for training. It's just become ready for training. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Um, hey. You know what? Let's carry on. Let's carry on. <laughs> we did it. It's done. Oh my goodness. Look. Star level three. Congratulations, your hospital has been awarded a three star rating by the Two Point Health Ministry. Wouldn't there need to be some sort of exit in the present, not to mention the past, for that time machine to work? And when will you finally get to the bottom of what caused all of those time portals to appear? It's troubling that after all this time, you still haven't solved this mystery. Perhaps you've always known. Perhaps you'll never know. How curious, how provocative, how tedious. Yours fragrantly, Tarquin Foxbridge. <laughs> Just points out all the loopholes to the entire DLC. And old time machine. We've got an old time machine. An old timey wimey machine. Okay. So, we have to check it out. Old. Old. Oh, time machine. <laughs> okay. Oh, 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 okay. I'm <laughs> constantly typing in there while trying to zoom in. Oh, how annoying that was. Right, okay. Uh, let's pop it here and try that again. Old. Oh my goodness, please. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, a reminder of simpler times. Of simpler times. Oh, look at it. <laughs> <laughs> that's fantastic um so now uh, i'd like to see somebody use this also the primordial soup um i was asked hey does anybody use this now i, I gotta be honest i don't see an interaction point here on it so it's possible oh <gasps> no there is look there are interaction points on it <gasps> is there interaction points on this don't know don't know oh my goodness oh my goodness i want to see people use these items they must use them right they must as far as i can work out they just seem to come over to the soup get a bit dizzy and feel sick uh although not feeling it but definitely doing like the whole vomit thing uh, oh <laughs> and then walk away so that seems to be what they're doing uh with this um, they just think it looks gross. A bit, a bit like I do, really. It does just look a little bit gross. I've not seen anybody come near this thing. Um, but there's definitely room for them to come on. If we hover another item over it, we can't see any feet interaction points with this item. You know? So, I don't think anyone does actually interact or use this. Aww. But I would love to see somebody sit on there and twiddle within stuff and it to make some cool little noises. But no, it does just seem to be a display. Okay. All right. Well, there we are. Uh, I can't believe it. A stitch in time has been completed. Um, and it wasn't uh, too much of a difficulty, I'll see, at all. A lot of these, I just seem to be waiting for the, the things to tick by more than anything else. Um, but I, I tell you what, it's, it's a relief in a way to not have any wave hospitals in this DLC. Um, I don't mind wave hospitals. It, 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 it's just that they take a long time to do. Um, you know, uh, and uh, it, it can get a little bit uh, tedious. So it was very, very nice 
to not see a wave hospital in this DLC. Um, overall, uh, I've liked this DLC. It's it's okay. There's not a lot of new stuff being introduced into it, um, but rather taking advantage of a lot of what we've already got in the game, which, you know, is okay. It's a little bit upsetting, you know. I do look forward to seeing the new uh, machines, and it seems that a lot of the illnesses were riffs on old ones. <laughs> um, but you know what? I've really enjoyed uh, some of the new items and the levels have looked great. There's no doubt about it. The, the levels have looked really, really great. Um, yeah, I've uh, overall really quite enjoyed a stitch in time. Well, look at that. Dear hospital administrator, I don't know about you, but personally, I think it's pretty funny that the Yester Riser created rifts in time fired people thousands of years into the future, subsequently tried to send them back home, but instead left them drifting in a timeless void. Whoever said entrepreneurship was easy? Sure, the Yester Riser's got some kinks, but we worked it out. The authorities don't seem quite so tickled, though. They're telling me I've got to take it off the market for the sake of space-time and existence as we know it, yada yada yada. But hey, a captain's gotta know when to jump ship, right? And as the captain of today fades into our yesterdays, so too must the captain of tomorrow rise from the ashes of alleged gross corporate negligence. Paradoxically yours, Captain Yesterday. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you to all my Patreons for their continued support.